Jude, the servant of Jesus Christ, and the brother of James, to them who are sanctified by God the Father and preserved in Jesus Christ and called mercy unto you and peace and love be multiplied. Brethren, when I gave all diligence to write unto you, I it was needful for me of the common salvation. It was needful for me to write unto you and exhort you that you should earnestly contend for the faith which was once delivered unto the saints. For there are men who have, for there are certain men who have crept in unawares that who were before of old ordained to this condemnation, turning the grace of God into lasciviousness and denying the only denying the only Lord God and the Lord Jesus Christ, our Lord Jesus Christ. Where I will therefore put you in remembrance that ye that the Lord having saved the people out of the land of Egypt afterwards destroyed them who believed not, and the angels which kept not which kept not their first estate, but left their own habitation, he hath reserved in everlasting chains under darkness unto that judgment until unto that judgment of, until that until that great day of judgment, even Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities about in like manner, giving themselves over to fornication and going after strange flesh, were sent forth for an example, suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. These also are filthy dreamers that defile the flesh, despise dominion, and speak evil of dignitaries. Yet Michael the archangel, when contending with the devil, durst not about the body of Moses, durst not bring a railing accusation against him, but said, The Lord rebuke thee. But these speak evil of that which they know not, but what they know naturally as brute beasts, in these things they corrupt themselves. Woe unto them, for they have gone the way of Cain, have ran greedily after the error of Balaam for reward, and perished in the gainsaying of Korah. Uh, these are spots when they feast with you, and these are spots in your feast of charity, feasts of charity, when they feast with you, feeding themselves without fear. Clouds they are without water, carried about of winds, trees whose fruit withereth, twice dead, plucked up by the roots, without fruit, twice dead, plucked up by the roots, raging waves of the sea, foaming out their own shame, wandering stars to whom the to whom is preserved the blackness of darkness forever. These these forever these uh, and Enoch the seventh from Adam prophesied of these saying Behold, the Lord saying, Behold, the Lord cometh with ten thousands of the saints to execute judgment upon all, and to convince all of the ungodly of all of their ungodly deeds which they have ungodly committed, and of hard speeches which they which ungodly sinners have spoken against them. These are murmurers and complainers, walking after their own lusts, and walking after their own lusts and their mouth speaketh great swelling words, having men's person in admiration because of advantage. But ye, beloved, remember, but beloved, remember ye the words spoken before by the apostles of the Lord Jesus Christ, how they said that at in the last days there should be scoffers walking at, mockers walking after their own ungodly lusts, these be they that are, these be they that separate themselves, sensual, having not the spirit. But beloved, 
build yourself up on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost, looking for keeping yourself in the love of God, and looking for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ unto eternal life, and some having compassion, save with making making a difference, and others save with fear, by fear, pulling them out of the fire, hating even the garments spotted by the flesh. Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy, exceeding joy, to the only wise God our Savior be both majesty and glory, both dominion and power, both now and forever, amen.